thought I'd do, just to cheer a few folks up, particularly those who have been coming to the Academy so often and have worked so hard for us, I thought I'd have a little look with you to see what's been popping Ooh. up rather than popping off. Come on. Okay. Of course, I just want to point out all this shelving that we've got up here. This is to protect uh, peas and beans from the mice that we had last year, but we don't seem to have a problem with this year. But of course, unfortunately, only one person <laughs> can actually reach them and there she is so now then just have a look at these Ooh. on the 4th of march we set those and if you have a look they are alderman peas these are the ones that will grow up to nine foot and they climb like sweet peas but they're not these are edible so they'll so, grow as tall as you absolutely <laughs> no need to bend anymore that's what we like so i'll put those carefully back up so we've put peas sweet peas and there's broad beans but come and have a look mm -hmm. So a few weeks ago, I'll put these on one side, a few yeah. weeks ago we set leeks in the class and all of the leeks have popped up and we've started pricking out. That means that we've moved from having clumps of them like so to singling them and that's what they're turning out like at the moment, looking very good, very excited. Here we've got uh, Brassicas. Brassicas, that's yeah, the word, yeah, yes. Well oh, the tongue got twisted. <laughs> and um, so we've got Savoy cabbage, we've got red cabbage, we've got curly kale, we've got all kinds of things that are already popping up. And again, these will need pricking out very shortly. And all that that means is they'll need singling out because each one of those is a kale. So, so actually, we'll, we can do a little video of pricking out, can't we? Because yep. that's quite a skill to do that, otherwise Absolutely. you can damage your plants. Well, a friend of mine called Julia has already pricked out. Oh. And here, these are the chilies, the, the jalapenos. And Julia's already pricked out. And we've got one per pot there. And of course, our students will be very pleased to see we've got everything labelled here. <laughs> Perfect. Well done, Excellent. Julia. Other things are actually going off here. Oh, I'll um, tell you what we have got coming up. Yeah. I mean, look at the indoor strawberries that we've done. Aren't, aren't they looking healthy? Fantastic. They so, I mean, every time Kev comes into the polyton and he says he can smell strawberries, and we can, because that's what they are. But also we've got some uh, broad beans coming up here that we actually set uh, on the 26th of February. And they're actually the variety called Crimson Flowered. But let's have a look behind you, Julia. Ooh. These are tiny tomatoes, but gardener's delight in abundance. So they're growing lovely now. And of course, the gutter of peas that I did um, just a couple of weeks ago, actually. Yeah. And they're all coming up lovely. They're little marvel that we did with Twiggy on BBC Radio Derby. So they're looking smart and healthy at the moment everything's looking really well and we've had a phone call today haven't we from twiggy wanting us to go in tomorrow or something on our day off <laughs> it's on our rest day yeah but we've said that we will go in for a bit of a question and answer theme yeah I'm not really sure who's doing what i think i asked the questions yeah so i think i think he's very brave letting us go near his knobs <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could cause a riot in the studio, couldn't we, really? <laughs> <Not that note. laughs> I'll turn it off. 